Welcome back to the NKFS final round, the Nationals in Perth at beautiful Woodman's Point. This is race 15 on day three. Only a handful of races to go in this series. And we have similar conditions again, offshore, 15 metre kites, windward leeward course, two laps. Through the start, up around the top mark, port rounding, left or right through the bottom gates, two laps, and then that final lap, race downwind, turn starboard around that right gate, uh, sorry, left looking up course, and then around the end of the start pin, and slalom finish through the finish line there. And this is really close now. If you look at the results here so far, and I apologize these aren't in the um, correct tallied order for that position, but at the top, Hector and Zach, there's nothing in it. Lots of ones and twos. They've both got a couple of threes scoring, but um, Hector with that the bullet in the previous race, and uh, Alex coming away in third there at this point, and Scott in fourth. Oscar following up in fifth, Alfie Frisbee in sixth, then uh, Bree, Phil, Jane, Jake, Ludo, Ant, Boris, Louis, etc. Dan, Riley, Julie, Andy Cooks, he only um, competed in a few of, of the events. <clears throat> so a really good battle at the front there. This is brought to you by Department of Local Government and Sport, Lottery West, Dodo Industries. Gin Flymax Kites, Aspire and Innate Brewers, master brewers of the best beer in Australia and potentially the world. And we're going to get straight into the racing here now. <clears throat> Heading out to the start line, again, just immaculate conditions. Just look at the state of these pictures. Beautiful location, slightly more offshore today to try and catch more breeze. They've gone a bit out to sea. You can see the islands in the background. And here come the riders getting ready, lining up. Who have we got where? There's a blue, uh, Flymax on the right-hand side there down the pin end. Zach Pollen on the pin end. Um, Dan Self, obviously a um, very accomplished sailor, having some pretty good starts um, and racing in Formula X. Um, Julie at the back there. Uh, well, and there you go. We've got Boat End. Look at that congestion on Boat End. Everyone having a hammer up there pretty much, all apart from Hector and Zach. They've gone mid of the line. And one of them tacking out early on the fly server VMG2. I can only see three. Oh, one's already gone. Okay, so a couple of people heading to the right, of course, there. Zach heading down the bottom. Hector heading down the uh, left. Oscar on his hammer there. And Andy Cooksey on the black fly max, I think. And Scott Whitehead on the uh, left of that picture there. So, we'll be interesting to see. Oh, look, the course uh, on the, the the kites over on the right of the course seem to be struggling a bit. There's really fickle conditions in this offshore. And if you pick it wrong, and I think they've gone into no wind there, some of those riders. But these guys up the middle, plenty of wind, riding through a nice lift there. And that should see these two storm to the front. Scott Whitehead slightly in front of Hector on the upwind leg so far. And again... The top lane line is going to be very, very interesting. Zach looked like he went into less wind, but he does look a long way ahead up there. So let's see. And, and who's... Oh, not quite making the cross. Oh, maybe that's Scott Whitehead. Sorry. That could be Scott Whitehead who just almost made that cross. Or maybe that was Bray Whitehead. Confusing. Those two look similar. I think this is Scott here in the lead from Hector but we will not know until they get to this top and turn. Oh, and someone on a gin instinct has done an incredible job and potentially is in the lead. Who is, that must be Ant Pillinger. That is an incredible upwind leg. Ant Pillinger, killing it. Oh, and there is one more. Oh, no, he's had a crash. I'll put the mocker on him. But then there is one more kite further up. And Zach did get a fantastic lift on that left, of course, after all. So Zach has done it again. Oh, but has to go behind with the starboard rights for, I, that must be Scott Whitehead. And Zach did the right thing, gave him plenty of room, but potentially too much there, going into very light wind. And that's got a sting, um, being that he was fastest up wind, but come in on those starboard rights on the top lay line and you're away. So actually, no, that is Redboard, that's Lando. So Lando got it. He got that one and he's gone to the front. Hector Mark, round, rounding the mark in third place. That's got to be Scott and Bree together. Ludo with a fantastic upwind run sitting there with Scott and Bree. Andy Cooksey behind. Oscar, Alti, uh, Jake Tim, and Ant Pillinger. 
Dr. Phil. So that's the order going in around the top mark. Interesting upwind legs in these tricky conditions. So can Lando put this away? That's the question. These are tricky conditions. That's kind of his specialty. The VMG2 mixed reviews about how they work in these variable, holy, gusty conditions. They can be a bit of a handful. Um, but if you treat them right and you're good, I heard they're amazingly good. But they will be tricky and difficult in these conditions. Hector, of course, on his uh, Gin Fly Max Boom is absolutely devastating downwind. So can he dust them up even though he's come third on the upwind? We will see. And Lando has gone across looking for that lay into the bottom gate. He's going quite a long way across and he can't jibe. And I think one of them was held out there and now they've gone into no winding. You see the pumping there. Oh, they've had a shocker. I think they held each other out on the jibe and now they're pumping. And, and Hector's gone through. There you go. Damn, big error there. That's got a sting. And Hector has gone through in the lead, heading to the right, of course. I think that's Lando in the front and Zach on his tail and they are heading out to the left, of course. So tactical error there. You don't see that much from these boys. And, and I think in normal racing, there's always enough gap, these front guys. But when you've got these fellas all together and they're all so close, mistakes will be punished. And those two joined each other in going to the wrong part of the course there with the win. <clears throat> and Zach's gone down. So Zach Pullen has had a couple of real big mistakes today. And unfortunately, they just you got to pay with this group. So... I think that's the whiteheads in the middle there. Not sure which one's which. <clears throat> um, Hector already on the ley line. Decided to bang the corners out to the right-hand side of the course. Ludo doing the same, and I think that's probably Dr. Phil out there with Ludo. Andy Cooksey doing well in the middle here on his uh, Flymax, the black with red swoops Flymax boom, and his Air Rush gold. Andy obviously you know, runs at the front, when given a chance and everything's working, he's um, right on that front pace too, and you can see he's pretty close. Hector getting across in front though, so he did manage to get across in front, but really holding position, because Zach got taken out um, by some weed or something, and then Lando is in front. So the question here, can Lando hold that lead on Hector, get around this and manage that downwind leg and make no mistakes like last time, and come through for the finish. We've got Dan Self in the foreground here. Must be on the previous lap. Um, and has overlaid a little bit to leave a bit of room around the top, which is very nice of him. And here we've got a really nice big wide angle view of who's where. Lando, Hector, I think Scott Whitehead has made up ground there, unless that's Zach coming back after his crash. And Lando's got this ley line right. He's going around with a comfortable lead. Can he put it away? And Hector, comfortably in second, overlaid this quite a bit for some reason, unless the others have underlaid. Oh, no, there he goes. goes through. Hector actually has got that right, comes through with good pace. You can see he's got a lot more speed out of the exit there. They went round together, and he's already sort of 50, 100 metres in front there, so that's a nice rounding. Must have found a bit of wind on that left there. Wonder how far he'll go. Lando looks to have this stitched up going down the middle. But with this fickle wind, it's anyone's game. Dan Anderson coming up in there on the uh, Durotone Kappa DOS and D-Lab combination. Now, this is just going to be interesting to see where they come back together because they've split here. Lando's gone sort of right of course and down the middle. Has he picked the lay and did Hector make an advantage in going out to the left, of course. You can see that red kite in the top right here. When they come back, I think Lando wants to come in on starboard right, so there's a slalom finish at the bottom with a starboard, port, um, starboard rounding. He's going to look to come across the front, but will Hector get in front? I wish we had a hear it. Oh, there's nothing in it. But Lando is still in front, but look at the pace on Hector. Oh, my God. Round he goes. Lando looks to have this one sewn up. Nice work. Well picked on the wind. Got his ley lines right. 
and he's coming in for this slalom finish. He'll be jibing around the pin end. And then coming through, he's left that very, very wide again. This is going to be dangerously close again. He's let, let him catch right up. Nerve-wracking finishes. So, he looks like he's got it. There we go. Well done, Lando. Going through, collecting his bullet. Hector taking second place. In the background there, we can see Andy Cooksey, I believe, right there, which is good. Very close to that finishing group. This should be Scott or Zach, one or the other going through there. Can't see the helmet colour. That looks like Scott with a red helmet. Probably Zach uh, and Bree, I think, right behind. So good effort there from Bree, right, right on her brother's tail. And Zach, after his crash, is coming through there. I believe that is fifth place. Hector heading for the coach boat. Only uh, one more race to go. 13, 14, 15. Oh, no, sorry. There's three more races to go. And yeah, so they'll be staying out there looking to take a rest and get ready for this next one as it comes up. Hopefully we can see a few more of the uh, finishing order, but that might be it for the footage. So we'll leave that there and be back for race 16 to close this out. And we'll have one more message from the sponsors at the end. <laughs> 